In the future, it may be possible to downgrade your iPhone back to iOS 8.3, which is jailbreakable, after you've upgraded to iOS 8.4 or some newer version and Apple has closed the 8.3 signing window. Now, that is only possible, or in most cases, that will only be possible if you save your SHSH blobs. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The first thing you wanna do is go to iDownloadBlog's download page and then you can find the Tiny Umbrella link because Tiny Umbrella is the tool that we'll use to save our SHSH blobs. Now, you can also search Google, obviously, for Tiny Umbrella and you'll be taken to the blog page for Tiny Umbrella and on the right side, you'll see tons of different links here. Now, you need to find the link that works for you. Obviously, if you're running Windows, uh, you could choose between 64 and 32-bit versions. Uh, if you're running uh, a Mac, there's Mac versions as well. There's also different types of Mac and Windows versions. For instance, this is the one I like to use. It's the App Bundle JRE version, and this includes the Java runtime, uh, all encapsulated so you don't have to download Java separately and install that. You can just do everything in one fell swoop. So I definitely recommend this link if you're going to use it. All right, so I've already downloaded this to my uh, desktop. I've already dropped it in my applications folder, so basically it's installed on my Mac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Tiny Umbrella here. I'm going to load it up. Make sure your phone, by the way, is not plugged in. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but just for this demonstration, I have not plugged my phone into my computer um, just yet. So I, I wanna show you this from the very beginning. So you see right here, this is the tiny umbrella interface, very simple interface. Basically, it's telling you to connect the device. So that's what we're gonna do. Your device does not need to be jailbroken in order to back up your SHSH blobs uh, for later downgrade potential. Uh, so I wanna show you right now, I'm just gonna plug it in. All right, so you see immediately it recognizes my phone and then down below, you'll see where it's fetching the SHSH blobs. Now, Apple will need to be signing uh, this, the firmware for the blobs that you wanna fetch. So right now, Apple is still signing 8.3, obviously because 8.3 is the latest public version, but tomorrow when Apple Music drops and iOS 8.4 drops, who knows when the signing window for 8.3 will close. So that's why it's so imperative that you do this ASAP um, because you wanna make sure your 8.3 blobs are safe. So you can see all my 8.3 blobs here. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you may be wondering to yourself, where do I find these blobs on my computer? They're saved, that's great and all, but how do I find those and how do I back them up? Well. All the blobs are actually stored in a single file in the latest version of Tiny Umbrella, but to find the location, you just go up to your Go menu in Finder, and then select Go to Folder, and then you wanna go to the following folder. Um, so you have .tu, is basically a hidden folder, uh, and then instead of known devices, you can go there too if you wanna find your known devices, but you just wanna type SHSH like that. So um, that's exactly what you wanna put in. I'll have that in the description as well and in the post. So just click Go. And here is your SHSH blob for this iPhone 6 Plus that I just plugged into my computer. So what you could do is you could just right click on that, uh, copy it, drop it on Dropbox somewhere, keep this one in there so you just have it in there. But um, you can back up that SHSH blob. In the future, if a tool comes out, not guaranteeing that there will be a, jail, or a downgrade for 8.3, but um, people have told me that the possibility is pretty high. So if that does indeed happen, you'll be able to use this. Uh, you'll, you'll probably need this uh, SHSH blob in order to facilitate that downgrade. If you don't have this, then you're putting yourself in a much worse position uh, for a downgrade possibility. So make sure, even if you're not jailbroken right now, save your SHSH blobs. It's the least you could do. It only takes a few seconds and it just sort of gives you peace of mind. Even if there doesn't happen to be a downgrade, at least you know you had possibility or you at least made it possible for yourself. Don't let uh, the signing window for 8.3 close without doing this. So that is how you do it on a Mac. Now I'm going to show you how you do it on Windows. Okay, so I've downloaded Tiny Umbrella on Windows. This is again the bundle package, so it includes the Java runtime. Um, so we'll just open up Tiny Umbrella here. Let's close that folder. And again, my device is not connected to my computer yet for this demonstration. All right, so the interface looks very similar to the Mac interface, right? Um, so all you need to do is just plug your device in to your computer like this. All right, so it recognized my phone and there it goes. So it's connected and just like on the Mac, it's fetching the SHSH blobs like this. So no matter if you're running Windows or if you're running on a Mac, 
uh, you can easily save your SH, SH blobs for future downgrade possibilities. So I'm gonna show you where you can find the blobs here on your Windows box as well. It's actually really easy. All right, just as soon as we get all these blobs in, and they should show up here shortly. All right, so there's all our 8.3 blobs as you can see. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just minimize this and now we'll open up Windows Explorer. We'll open up our C drive, we'll open up our user folder, find your user, and then you'll see a.tu and you'll see shsh. And there's your shsh blob. Uh, basically, this is a file that contains all the blobs like I mentioned earlier. So it's just a all encompassing file. And then you can use that in the future for potential downgrades. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video was able to help you out, show you how you can prepare yourself for an iOS 8.3 downgrade should one arise. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, please leave me a like below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Also be sure to check out our jailbreak tutorial for the Mac our Galaxy S6 review and comparison, 10 tips for Cydia users, and 50 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 8.3.